Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dave and I wanted to do just a short video. This is not a review of my Jante JT6188 Plus ham radio, but more of the programming aspect of it. So first of all, if you've had like a Baofeng or something along those lines that uses the Chirp software, which is really easy to use, um, this is uh, a little bit different. So they have their own software, so you can't really use Chirp. You can use Chirp to get some settings. There's a video on YouTube that you'll find for that, but um, it's 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 still kind of a still kind of a pain in the butt. But um, hang on just one second, and I'll show you what we got. All right. Well, first things first. I am because I don't have a 12 volt um, power supply in my house. Uh, currently I'm in my vehicle so I'm down here I've got the the radios down here it's uh, running so um, so anyways I don't know if you can see this or not but this is the software it's just called UV dual band series program software that you download off of the uh, uh, Jante website so but anyways what I've done is I've used the chirp software um, just because I can pull from the uh, the uh, repeater book. So these are the channels that I'm going to have programmed in here. And then I have left a couple of them blank, number 11 and number 19, because these here on the top are my Fairbanks Alaska channels. And then this is uh, the Anchorage area, um, 2 meter, and then the Anchorage area, 70 centimeters. So basically once you get everything like you have to you can't input you can't pull from any databases or anything you have to physically type all this in so and if anyone out there knows of a way to do it that i don't then please please share that information so because i would love to be able to go to just repeater book and just input everything right into it but i can't so anyways you got to make sure that you put your your frequency in here that's your normal frequency and then whatever your offset is, whether it's uh, plus or minus six or uh, plus five, uh, like these are, you just got to make sure that your your transmit frequency uh, reflects that uh, positive or negative plus uh, 0.6. And then down here, uh, for example, there this one was uh, plus five, so you got 444.1, and then so that goes to 449.1. So. And then you got to make sure that you choose um, your CTCSS here, and that auto populates into here. The rest of this stuff I have not changed because I want my transmit power on high um, and push to talk. I don't care about any of that, and then don't care about the rest of them. And then down at the very end is where I just put you can uh, you put the the channel names. So then the next step is you take the cable now if you didn't buy the cable you'll have to buy it and then i'm just going to plug it in there and then i'm going to come over to the port on the radio and plug that in right there now because i saved this file so i'm going to exit out of it just to hopefully <laughs> hopefully i saved it um so then I'm going to open it and I named this one FB and Inc. So confirm, succeeded in pulling it and then I do, uh, sorry, channel. So then there's all the channels. Now then what I want to do is I want to write, because I want to write it to the radio. I don't want to read what's on the radio, I want to write this. And this guy got to pick the right port. And that's here in communication. And if I remember right, on this computer it was three. Nope. Four. <laughs> there we go. So I'm connected to it. And it's, okay, you heard that. So the radio says, hey, I'm, we're talking. So now I'm gonna write. And even though I'm only writing 24 channels it's going to run through all 
uh, what 199 just in case I skipped a whole bunch and then just put one and out at the very end because I you know you could do that you can separate them however you want to all right so it tells me that the transmit was complete all right so we have programmed the radio with all the channels and I'm down here on channel 5 and I just wanted to show you how scrolling through I'm using the uh, the hand mic with the, the scrolling capabilities. So there's a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten's the last channel that I have for Fairbanks area. Remember we skipped eleven, we went straight to twelve for Anchorage uh, two meter. So boom, skips right through it. So channel eleven is not even there. So same thing, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, and there's 19 skipped again because we went from the uh, 2 meter to the 70 centimeter. So, um, once you got them programmed in here, it uh, it's, it's pretty easy. So, 24 then jumps to 199 and then back to zero for me. And I'll keep it on 5. And then, like I said, we're using the hand mic here. So, uh, really nice just to scroll up and down. I can do pretty much anything I need to do right here uh, from it. If I want to scan, I just hold down scan and then it will start going through all my channels. All right, so that was just a quick video on the programming, maybe not so quick, but um, I wanted to kind of give everyone an idea of the programming that it takes to get this done compared to just plugging in Chirp software downloading it straight from the repeater book or other sources because they've added new sources on there now but uh, and then just you know, you know throwing it right to your handheld or or base station or whatever you've got so um, here again it'll be a lot easier once I actually uh, get this uh, I want to get one of those little Yeti 150 uh, zeros uh, little small generator things but uh, some call them a battery pack but that'll help me out in the house so um Thanks for watching, and hope this gives you a little bit of insight into the uh, programming capabilities of the Jante 6188 or the JT 6188 Plus. Thanks a lot. You'll have a great day. As always, appreciate your thumbs ups. Hopefully, no thumbs down, but you know, hey, some of you don't like certain things, so it is what it is, right? So, uh, we also love your comments down below. We try and get to them within 24 hours, if not sooner than that. And then, of course, feel free to share our videos. And then, always, we love your subscriptions. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. God bless.